Hello, my name is Juan Manuel Bolivar from Complutense University of Madrid, and I welcome you to the lecture Internal and External Mass Transfer in the Hydrogen System and the Advanced Module for Synthesification and Scaling. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the phenomena driving the performance of heterogeneous enzyme biocatalysts, in particular when the enzyme is immobilized inside a solid matrix. In this case, we can distinguish different correlations elements at the solid support, the pores of the support filled with liquid where the biochemical reaction is taking place, catalyzed by an enzyme that is bound to the internal surface of the material. We can also distinguish the liquid boundary layer that is surrounding the particles of the material and the bulk liquid. Two main phenomena are taking place in this system. One is the biochemical reaction catalyzed by the enzyme and second, it is the mass transfer. Regarding the mass transfer, we can distinguish two steps. One, it is the stem transport that is taking place from the bulk liquid through the boundary layer to the solid surface and the internal transport that is taking place by diffusion through the pores of the solid material. So the stem transport is taking place in series with the biochemical reaction while the internal transport is occurring simultaneously in the pores together with the biochemical reaction. We'll see in more detail the two steps of transport and the interplay with biochemical reaction. In the case of the external uh, transport, the phenomena that are occurring, it is the transport of the substrate from the bulk liquid. The bulk liquid, the concentration is the same in all points. And the subject is diffusing through the boundary layer to reach the solid material where the reaction is taking place. So the transport is taking place in series compared with the biochemical reaction. It is relevant to try to quantify the extent of this extent of transport and to compare with the rate of the biochemical reaction. For that, this uh, equation it is used that it is uh, containing a mass transfer coefficient that uh, included the specific area of the particles and the driving force. And the driving force is the difference of the substrate concentration in the fluid and the substrate concentration in the solid material. In this case, we just need these two values since we are defining the gradient of the substrate with a model of the maximum gradient. It is very interesting to try to understand the variables that can influence it at the extent of the transport rate, since this transport rate depends on the fluid properties, the fluid dynamics of the reactor and the particle side. So, for example, if the uh, steering velocity of the reactor is increasing, the mass transport coefficient will increase, and the mass transport rate will increase. If the particle side is smaller, the specific area will uh, increase, so the mass transport rate increase. And if the substrate concentration in the fluid is higher, the driving force will be higher, so the mass uh, transport rate will be also higher. To get a bit deeper how this transport rate it is uh, affecting the performance of the moment biocatalyst, it's very interesting to compare this rate with the rate of the biochemical reaction. So, in a situation, a steady state, where the substrate concentration is uh, constant uh, over time, the phenomenon of the mass uh, transfer equals in rate to the biochemical uh, phenomenon. In this case, the rate of the biochemical phenomenon it is expressed by the mechanism uh, equation that depends on Km, the Vmax or the mobilized enzyme, and the substrate concentration accessible to the enzyme, that is a substrate concentration at the solid surface. Now, depending on these uh, uh, relative uh, velocities, we can encounter different situations regarding that the limiting factor of our system, if it's limiting the reaction rate or if it's limiting the physical phenomenon. 
For that, a very interesting uh, parameter is the down color now. The down color number is the ratio between the maximum reaction rate and the maximum transfer rate. The maximum reaction rate is given by the big max of the mobilized enzyme, and the maximum transfer rate is given as the multiplication of the mass transfer coefficient and the substrate concentration in the fluid. We can encounter two extreme situations. One, it is where the, the maximum uh, velocity of uh, the biochemical reaction is by far higher than the maximum transfer rate, so the down color number will be very high. In this case, the limiting phenomenon is the transport, so the velocity that we will observe that the substance is consumed or the product is produced is exactly the transport rate. And in this case, as it is controlling the transport because the load is, is it's very fast, the substrate concentration and the surface will be nearly zero. So we are just observing the velocity given in the transport. On the other side, if the maximum reaction rate is by far lower than the maximum transport rate, so that will be the reaction uh, limiting uh, the, the performance of the, the catalyst, the velocity that we will observe that the substance is getting consumed and the product is getting produced will be exactly given by the kinetic equation of the enzyme. As in this case, the transport is very fast compared with the reaction, no gradient will be observed, so the substrate concentration accessible to the enzyme will be exactly the same that we have in the bulk layer. Now that we understand a bit better the two uh, phenomena and the consequences of the relative velocities, we can uh, express these consequences in a number that it is defining how efficiently used is the immobilized enzyme. This uh, parameter uh, helping us to express that is the effectiveness factor, in particular the external effectiveness factor. This effectiveness factor is the ratio between the observable reaction rate and the maximum reaction rate. So if we are uh, using the maximum potential of the enzyme because no reaction control, the effectiveness factor will be one. If we are in a situation of extreme transport rate, so we are far away from the maximum reaction rate, this effectiveness factor will be approaching zero. This effectiveness factor is obviously dependent on the color number. Since the color number, it is actually expressing the ratio between the two uh, uh, phenomena. The land color number is very high, so it's more transport control. Effectiveness factor is uh, decreasing, approaching zero. The land color number will be very small. We have situational reaction control, so the effectiveness factor it is approaching one. Let's now discuss in more detail the internal transport and the interplay with the biochemical action. The internal transport is a phenomenon occurring by diffusion through the pores. So in this case, in the, in the pores we have the two phenomena are taking place simultaneously. The subject is diffusing and the subject is getting consumed. So this is uh, described in the, in the way that the transport and the reaction are in series parallel. In this case, we don't have just two uh, well-defined subject concentration, but the subject concentration is continuously decreasing along the radius of the particle. So the gradient of the subject now is described as a multiple gradient model. The extent of the transport cannot be defined now with an algebraic equation since the subject concentration is continuously changing along the radius, but the extent of the transport is uh, defined by the fixed law that is the multiplication of the coefficient of diffusion and the gradient of the subject. And the gradient of the subject is the first derivative, the subject concentration over the radius. What is really interesting is to compare the ratio of the transport rate with the ratio of the biochemical reaction rate. As the subject concentration, it is changing continuously along the radius, also, the reaction rate uh, will do along the run. So, if we want to compare the two uh, phenomena, we have to do it 
in a differential of the radius. In this differential of the radius, we can write that the transport uh, rate equals under steady state to the biochemical reaction rate. The same that we uh, did with the standard transport, now we can uh, use a parameter that it is expressing the relative velocities of these two things. This is the theory modules, that is the ratio between the maximum reaction rate and the maximum transport rate. Here you have the expression for spherical particles with uh, the enzyme kinetics following Michaelis uh, momentum. And you can see that we have at uh, the, the numerator termed the Vmax of the enzyme, that it is uh, expressing the maximum reaction rate. And uh, we have the coefficient of diffusion, that it is uh, expressing the, the velocity of the physical phenomenon. And the so if the field modules is very high, means that the reaction rate is by far higher than the transport. So it's going to be a control of the physical step, since the physical step is going to be the slowest. If the field module is very small, then that means that the maximum reaction rate is by far lower than the maximum transport rate. We are going to have a control of this biochemical step, since the biochemical step. So the enzyme kinetics, it is the slowest. The same that we did with the standard transport, now we can express how efficiently use is the enzyme. And using uh, effectiveness uh, factor uh, parameter, in this case the internal effectiveness factor, that is expressing the ratio between the maximum reaction rate and the maximum transport rate. Again, there is a dependency between the internal effectiveness factor and the thin module. So the thin module, it is very high. So we are in a situation of all the mass uh, transfer uh, control. The effectiveness factor is going to decrease, approaching uh, zero. While in the thin module, it is uh, very small. So we are in a situation of uh, reaction control. We will approach in one because we will observe the reaction rate given by the, the maximum potential of the enzyme. In this case, it's, however, very difficult in many cases to know which is the Vmax or the mobilized enzyme. So instead of uh, using a definition of the thin module based on this intrinsic parameter, an observable thin module, it is uh, defined. The still uh, module is, again, the ratio of a reaction rate, but in this case, the observable reaction rate which is the real measure consumption of the substrate formation of the product divided by the maximum transport rate. Again, there is a dependency between the internal effectiveness factor, the observable thin model. If the uh, observable thin model is very high, so it's more transport control, the effectiveness factor will approach zero, while in the thin module it is uh, uh, smaller, we are to some reaction control, so we are observing Actually, the maximum potential of the catalytic reaction, we will approach in one. Here you have some definition of the relations that we are used to a lecture in case that you want to consult it. Thank you very much. I hope that you enjoy this lecture.